So the neural axis is divided into segments called neuromeres and the rhombencephalon, the neuromeres and the rhombencephalon are called rhombomeres. So the, there are eight rhombomeres and these are eight bulges that have different Hox genes that determines what cranial nerve it will become. Every two rhombomere forms a brachial arc. And the motor neurons um, of each cranial nerve leaves via the the even rhombomere. They live by the even rhombomere, but the cell body is in both b both brachial arc, um, both rhombomeres of the brachial arc. Um, so this is called the two segment pattern um, so what determines the Hox gene um, in each rhombomere well the retinoic acid is released from the bottom of the rhombom rhombencephalon which also called the cranial the caudal hindbrain it's also released from the spinal cord, which continues down that way. Um, and so each rhombomere receives a gradient of retinoic acid that determines the Hox gene that is expressed. So if R4 receives um, a defi deficient amount of retinoic acid, it will express the same Hox gene as R3. And it will develop into a trigeminal nerve. So B1 is the cranial nerve is cranial nerve 5 the trigeminal nerve b2 is the cranial nerve 7 which is the facial nerve um facial nerve and um the glossopharyngeal is a brachial arc um 3 and the glossopharyngeal so um so um, if R4 receives a lack of re retinoic acid, it will develop, it will have the same Hox genes as R3 and it will develop a trigeminal nerve instead of a facial nerve. Um, yeah, so retinoic acid is a derivative of vitamin A. A. And it's released from, as I said, from the caudal, um, the caudal hindbrain and the spinal cord, um, and it binds to, it binds to a retinoic acid receptor. Which is a ligand gated transcription factor factor and it acts as a morphogen on the Hox gene transcription factor and Hox is short for homeobox which is the transcription factor that it that retinoic acid activates and Hox genes um they're conserved throughout Hox genes are conserved throughout evolution um, from yeast to mammals. And in Dros Drosophila, the fly, and mammals, they both determine the caudal to rostral, um, the rostral to caudal neuroaxes.